Welcome back to our Scala to Spark class and we are continuing to take a deeper look at SQL uh, using it for well, bigger data anal analytics and one of the crucial tools we will look at today is creating index on your database tables. So basically the whole idea is to pay it forward to pay some computational cost ahead of time so we have an easier time later on. So, uh, well, let's take a look how it works. Again, here's the official documentation, how to use a syntax, uh, index, how to create an index, but we will want to first uh, get an idea why we need an index. So, uh, I'll be using the Beaver as usual before. Um, database doesn't really matter, I'll be using the, this Chinook, but uh, <coughs> you could use, of course, anything else because it's, uh, we'll be using a new table. But the idea is this, uh, when we, uh, when we use, uh, uh, when we have a table and we are getting queries, well, there is a cost involved. There is a cost involved and, well, you have to pay, well, checking each row, well, it costs some time, obviously, right? But uh, if we have access to row, row IDs, the primary key, well, it's very quick. So here's the, here's the picture. So we have our contacts uh, page, right? And we have very quick access to using row ID. It instantly maps to the correct row. However, if you're looking for say Smith or maybe email, you're looking for some specific email, it will take a long time. Well, not long time, but it will take longer uh, just to go, he'll have to go through all the rows and check, okay, is Lisa Smith in there? And so the idea is to create an index which maps, okay, uh, this uh, Lisa Smith, well, uh, this this particular query, well, uh, email corresponds to three. So think of it as in Scala terms, like a map or hash map, right? Uh, well, although the, the SQL uses a different type of structure underneath, technically it's using a B3, that's not really, we don't have to worry about that ourselves here. But the idea again is that we have quick access using some other column, which is not primary key. So that's extremely common in database optimization. You have many, many queries uh, which utilize some column uh, filters, something, some checking. Well, uh, you will want to index those columns. Again, so the, again, nothing in life is free. Of course, the cost is, the indexing is you have to pay some cost of indexing ahead of time, of course. But if you're making multiple similar queries, this can really speed up uh, your your basically access, your analysis, or any any of your workloads will speed up. Again, if even if you're making application, also. And the best part is, uh, if you make this index, of course, uh, it's going to work silently. Once you set it up correctly, you don't have to worry about it, right? But of course, you have to first check if it actually exists. But okay, so uh, that's the idea: is you have you're going to index. You're going to do a reverse, basically a reverse lookup. Look up by column and it will, it will find the correct row instantly. Again, well, near instantly, at least quicker than before. Okay, uh, we'll take a look uh, at how th this happens. So, uh, I will start a new, uh, new, uh, new uh, script page, right? And we'll make a new, maybe make a new, uh, so the, the syntax is a great, great. Uh, so again, so each index must be associated with a specific table, right? So you could have, you can use multiple columns, but uh, uh, they must be in the same table, right? And of course, you can have multiple indexes. That's also very common. You have a huge, huge uh, table with multiple, maybe you know, fifty columns, right? <laughs> uh, happens, right? You will want to have maybe multiple indexes depending on what you need to access. Again, so again, the structure is it creates specific structure for quick access, right? And so uh, the index will have the columns, right? One or more columns and the corresponding row ID value, right? And a row ID, by the way, row ID is the default uh, ID column, you know, primary key if you don't specify it in SQLite, right? So again, it's very similar in most other SQL uh, dialects, so it's not uh, not nothing nothing uh, different. So uh, again, so it's like index of book. Again, things we looked at in uh, hash maps and maps in a uh, Scala. Again, you can quickly it's, think of it as a key. So key and value, and value being a row here. So here's a statement, right? Like this, right? So you need three things. You need the, of course, the name. What you're gonna call it, 
you know index something you know name is of course not uh, you come up with your good name right uh, uh, on what table and you want also so that's a table name right that's this part here on columns here you have enter one or more columns that you want to index right so uh, what about this this is this is um, this is optional right unique that's a constraint you can think of it as a constraint right so uh, this means that uh, you can't uh, uh, these uh, columns they have to have a unique uh, unique value right otherwise it won't work right an extra check basically so we'll take a we'll take a little example here right we'll create a context table right not null not null not null notice also i am not entering row id right that's automatic let's take a look let's take a look again maybe i should make a completely new database but i'll, I'll just keep it in chinook <laughs> uh, so i'll make it here right so create table contacts right i don't think i have contacts do i have contacts uh, customers invoices and right again so of course I will make a blank database but I'll just use this one right and um, I'll run it I'll run the query so no rows update create table everything is great right on we can check the tables now here right on refresh on uh, yes yes on let's see here uh, contacts here we go right we can check right contacts first name email right uh, well, uh, let's take a look. Actually, select. Uh, well, we don't have any contacts right now yet, right? We need to enter some contacts, of course, right? Uh, but uh, uh, we are also going to create an index. We can create an index, of course, afterwards, right? You can create an index afterwards, but we will, uh, you know, we will create index right now. So let's do this. Uh, so create unique, right? You should tell me ahead, unique. Yes, that's a keyword. Index again, another keyword, and we'll call it index contacts email, for example, right? And on what? We only have one. Well, we have multiple tables in this database, but we'll use the contacts on contacts, contacts, right? Yeah, contacts on email. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if this works. Again, semicolon. And yeah, it worked. Update row zero, query, okay, everything worked. So we have unique in index. And, well, we'll need to insert some data. Right, so we'll insert some data. Insert into contacts, right? Uh, of course, I could do it by hand, right? Well, I'm doing it by hand. First name, thank you, first name. Also, last name on email, right? There we go, right, in contacts. And values. We'll do values, we'll do, of course, Valdis. I'm not gonna use, I should use, I'm used to, to I should be using uh, single quotes. Again, it's SQL, remember, I mean, I could use double quotes, but sometimes you will run into problems with double quotes. So you should be using single quotes here. So those parents, and of course, I'll use my, let's say, you know, while this is coding, for example, well, this, you know, is coding uh, gmail.com, for example, right? Okay. Okay, let's see what happens. And of course, semicolon, right? And I will insert some names, right? Okay, so we all know how to do this, right? And yes, updated rows one. Okay, great. Uh, well, uh, let's insert something. Um, maybe let's do prose mind, right? Insert uh, well this at prose mind com, right? Prose mind com, right? And uh, uh, let's see what happens, right? It should be no problem, right? Okay. And let's see what do we have. Maybe we'll insert one more. We'll insert one more. We'll insert somebody. Uh, maybe uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, let's say uh, let's say Alice. Alice Do right, and we'll do something Alice Do. I don't think there are any Alice right, and answer right. Okay, so we have three entries, and we can check, select uh, all from contacts, right? There we go, we could see two, right? Okay, notice again, so that this, these actually IDs are automatic, actually, right? We get these IDs automatically, right? Uh, at least we should be using it here, okay? And uh, so, uh, let's try to enter one more. If I answer something, let's do this. Uh, uh, Let's do one more. Should be a 
So now should be a constraint violation if I do solace, right? So a email is the same, right? But uh, email stays the same. So this should be a violation of this unique con on constraint. Yes, you see, SQL constraint, abort due to a constraint violation. Unique, constraint failed, and it actually is, in fact, tells you. At least it tells you the error. It's in contacts email, right? So because we have a duplicate here. Again, so we put an extra uh, uh, duplicate on this, right? So we got this uh, 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 we got this violation, right? So, right. So this is in. So this is uh, uh, mm, uh, this gives you a violation of this constraint, right? So uh, now, if we are going to do something, uh, if you're going to do a query, so, so from now on, so now, so idea is this now. Uh, by creating this index, by creating index, by creating index. Uh, creating index uh, v uh, v this v will v will speed up uh, select you know queries which use uh, email column for lookup or for you know as part of as, as part of query as part of the query right basically right so we'll take a look at uh, say uh, select right of course these are very very going to be very fast right. So this is a violation. Can't, cannot, cannot insert a new uh, row with the say with the same email, right? Due to, due to, due to constra unique on unique index, right? Uh, requirement for email column. Right. Okay, so now let's try to do a query. Let's do something like silly. Let's do well. Uh, select uh, again. I can do all right. So select all from contact from contacts again. Right on where email again email email is equal again. While this coding while this s coding right while this s coding coding at gmail.com right. Okay, uh, let's check. Well, it works, of course. It's extremely quick, right? Of course, one row, uh, and again, if I keep running it, right, zero milliseconds, right? In, it's basically instant. Of course, this is such a tiny table that it really doesn't make any 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 difference at all uh, because it's, of course, it's only three rows. You, you, it's really hard to make a bad query on a single single table which only has few entries, right? But <laughs> I'm sure somebody could come up, right? But the thing is, okay, uh, what you can do. The next thing is, uh, okay, we have the, okay, uh, we have these queries. Okay, they're, they're pretty fast. You can, in fact, actually check your queries, right? So next thing is we can, we can find out how the queries opt use the index, and this index, or use it, whether how or or how. The queries use the index as if at all, right? So what you do is this simple explain um, query plan, right? So you say, okay, please tell me, tell me how does this query work, right? On again, so this if you encounter using again millions of rows right you might again <laughs> you can speed up a, a query from a couple hours query into maybe a minutes long query or maybe even a couple seconds right so uh, select uh, okay let's do this so, so the same ones here select uh, right this one here so explain this query right I'm gonna copy it so right explain query plan and that's my query here right let's check what it's gonna tell me right so index the id is three right tells you what parent right it tells you but main thing it it gives you the answer here search table contacts is c using index so it is using email this e, uh, email index uh, it's actually is in fact using it okay well let's see if we, we go let's do a, another query uh, the one which doesn't use select all from contacts right contact c2 um where name you know name uh, equals Valdis, right? Valdis? Was it? I, I forget now. Uh, Valdis, right? Um, 
Pauls, jā. Jā, um, ā, ah, atbrauc, what, what do you call it? Ah, first name, sorry, first name, first name, right, of course. First name, right. All right, so there's two valdes. Okay, but now, with our newfound knowledge, right, we are going to uh, check this query, right? Explain. Let explain how you do you do this, right? And of course, we know that there's no index on first name. We have not indexed first name, but we can see that. We should be able to see this, right? Explain query plan. So explain. It. So again, <laughs> uh, these. Uh, Right, scan table corner the C2. So there's no index here. So it just says scan, right? Uh, meaning whatever is in table, right? Um, uh, there's no indexing going on here. So it's just, it's, so scan means, what does it imply? Scanning implies it has to go through all the rows one by one and check whether there is in fact a name, first name is in fact Valdis. Okay, great. So I hope you got the idea of indexing. But let's see how it works on something more bigger, right? See if you actually can we see if you can see the speed difference. Let's look at something bigger like tracks. Can we check on tracks, right? We have tracks ID, and um, of course it's indexed by track ID, right? Again, primary key is always indexed by default. I mean that's just the idea, right? You have your primary key is indexed. Uh, however, uh, we'll add another index, right? But again, so. You can't add a second primary key, right? But uh, uh, we're going to use and create an index. For example, it's not going to be unique because maybe maybe things can uh, uh, like composer or album ID, right? Uh, name. Uh, we could index a name, right? That would be one way of doing it, right? Uh, we could index any columns or any combination of columns, right? But let's index name, right? Let's index name. But first, let's do a query. Let's do a query. Uh, where's my query? I'll need to save this first. Let me save this and commit first. Save as um, day seven uh, Spark resources, right? So I'll do day eight, day eight indexing. Let's save. Let me go to IntelliJ and we should have a commit here. Where is my commit? Oh, there we go. Day eight indexing. Let's do that. Day eight indexing SQL for performance, right? Right. Okay. Now, of course, again, like I said, I want to. Uh, well, it doesn't really cost the indexing. Uh, I mean, it will speed up. But, I mean, it doesn't make sense, of course, to index such a tiny table, obviously. But for larger tables, it will make sense. Hopefully, we'll see it here. Even th even though this is also not a huge database, it's still a small database. We'll try. So select, uh, select all from tracks, right on. Um, uh, right, so this is what, uh, also very quick, right, so all from tracks, of course, it's very quick, but we want something which includes, uh, let's say, fast, as a sh well, um, let's do um, order by track ID, descending, right, so blue-eyed, right, so we want all the name blue-eyed, okay, or sitting on a tree, oh, that's my, that's my song, okay, maybe you don't have, let's do for you. Uh, Koyan is Katsi, right? Philip Glass, right? And let's do that one, right? I don't think we have. So we'll use that one, okay? <laughs> Spelling or blue-eyed? No, that's no, that's not really it. Um, uh, that's the last entry. Maybe something which is for sure. Sing joyfully. Sing joyfully. Yeah, sing joyfully. Let's do sing joyfully. Something relatively easy. I will probably misspell this. Koyan is Katsi. Of course, that's the world out of balance, right? The famous. Uh, well, there's also a documentary on that and. Was it Indian world or, or Eskimo world, world? But I forget now. But yes, um, uh, sing joyfully. Let's do something easier. So select all from tracks. Uh, T2, okay, why not? Where uh, name, right? Name equals sing joyfully. Sing joyfully. Right, let's see. Two milliseconds again, pretty fast, right? So actually, it's very fast already, but uh, not so we won't see much, uh, uh, much uh, improvement because of course, twenty thousand tracks, right? We have how many tracks? Let's check again. Uh, select uh, count. From tracks. Mm, yeah, only 3,500, so yeah, that's actually even less. 
Not really, maybe playlists? You could do something, maybe look up in this playlist, something longer. 3000 is too short. I want something longer. Uh, let's see. Select. Select count. From playlists. From, I think, playlists. Playlist track. Yeah. 8000. Also not too bad. Uh, I want something bigger. Maybe we need SQL mystery, which had a lot of tracks, right? Count um, from playlists. Place is very really small, so I guess that's really, um, yeah. Not, not, I guess not really much. Not still very tiny database, right? So it's still a tiny database. So we won't see much, even uh, you know, on on such on such tiny tables. Tiny tables, uh, we will not see that much of a difference however however it still adds up however on multiple you know sub queries involving this index involving involving various indexes uh, the speed up speed up speed up can be considerable okay so, uh, but okay, let's explain. So we want this one sing joyfully, right? It was pretty, still pretty fast, right? Um, let's do this. So explain, uh, um, again, explain query plan, right? Explain query plan on this one here. We want to explain how do you do this, right? Right? Yeah, scan table tracks as T2, okay. All right, so now let's add an index. Let's add an index to track name. Let's see what happens. So, what's the syntax? So, the uh, question is now, will it, will it, um, will there be a conflict? So, question, do we use unique, right? Uh, because um, uh, if you use unique, it might be possibly now, now inserting, uh, new index using unique constraint constraint no well might produce an error right error uh, if if track names are same right different uh, different artists but same track right so we'll try it first maybe just a regular index see first right so create um, index right and we'll call it idx of course very typical right and we'll call it um, track name right something like this right on on uh, table name of course will be tracks right um, tracks right on the name right that should be it right let's see what happens zero and now we should do explain this again right now now or queries well using name uh, matches should be faster again we won't see much difference here but let's try it <laughs> maybe it'll be first time it'll be slower uh, let's try right oh not explain yeah uh, so yeah search table tracks using index id you see it's using the index already so but very good and uh, let's do a query um, here Right. Well, again, it is very quick. It was well a little bit quicker, but again, it's probably yeah. It is a little bit quicker even here. Zero milli. It is two milliseconds scanning again on a fast machine, right? SSD based, right? Uh, maybe it's actually loaded in memory, uh, so <laughs> it's gonna be very fast already. But again, it, this is gonna be if you have a thousands um, of rows, right? And you're doing multiple sub queries, you will really notice the difference. So again. So this is something when you're doing your analysis, when you're working with database, uh, checking the indexing plan, right? It could be very crucial. It might make a difference from a query which runs. <laughs> uh, I mean, even some, it might be a difference between a query that runs again, uh, five hours or maybe five seconds, right? <laughs> on a large, on a lot, if you have multiple joins and things like that and uh, sub queries, it's, it could really, really speed up. Okay, but let's try. Um, so let's first, let's drop, let's drop an index, right? If you decide, if you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to uh, index here, right? So let's drop it, right? Uh, well, let's first, um, let's see, um, we can actually see the index, what, what kind of index we have. So let's say you decide for a table, so uh, we can check what indexes we have on some table. And the comp command is pragma, that's again 
and we can use index list right and we can use um, uh, let's say tracks right uh, tracks uh, let's see okay right it's actually uh, I this is uh, interestingly enough right you notice uh, internal right so this is my index right there's actually apparently it's interesting there's also of course uh, uh, album ID right there are other uh, foreign key indexing also right so so that's a very interesting uh, issue so the foreign keys actually do provide indexing already because well why because you are going to be using them for joins that'd right? be really uh, bad if these indexes uh, these foreign keys well you didn't have the indexing on those right so it's actually kind of interesting so let's say how about contacts right pragma pragma index list um, contacts right the one i just created this morning right so let's see that one yeah just one simple one so cut c probably means customer i believe or uh, well, customer uh, custom maybe right you've been at origin right so again these answers are also provided as mini tables right so okay but okay let's decide we decide we don't want uh, right oh by the way there's another way of getting let's say you want to get all get let's get let's get all in let's get all indexes in um, in our database in our database let's see so this command is this select um, mm, uh, there's a master table right select uh, and we'll do type uh, again type uh, name we'll do maybe tracks for example that's our contact name right the contact name or table name or table name right on the, the on sql right that's very interesting so from sql master so this is uh, again so this is sqlite master i'm going to of course if you had different database you have different name of this table this is like a meta information where right type equals um index right index something like this let's check oh uh tracks on the table name or oh, maybe it's not correct actually maybe it is not uh yeah type this right all right it's not that this i think this shows you all right let's check yeah okay yeah this is the, uh, right so this gets you all so you don't have to enter your name so it shows you here is a uh, uh, all the different indexes we have right um, uh, we have the contacts email track name these are the ones we added right but most of these are uh, auto indexes right you see foreign key indexes again of course this does not show the index on your primary key because that's just the given i mean you have primary keys of course automatically will be indexed right so um, okay so this this can show you this recipe will show you all the index okay let's say we decide we don't like this uh, track name index and uh, let's see how much time we have right we're doing pretty good uh, so we can drop it yeah we can drop it and so if we decide uh, we do not need an index uh, we can drop it so command will be of course drop so drop but not table drop index and we need a name uh, we may want to say if it exists right this is optional uh, if exists exists um, if exists is optional is optional right of course right and uh, we will do the name right so we know okay idx can we, will it pick up if portion doesn't pick up uh do we need a table right will it know will it know that it's actually all oh, right we're open a database how do we does it know the table index but it's of course let's try it. tracks name right let's see if this works uh yeah zero uh let's see can we run it again yeah it runs right however uh let's check if it doesn't if i don't have exist so it looks like it deleted right so we'll have an error right if i don't this right so if it right and now it will be an error will will be error if index does not exist right should be an error at least right yeah 
no such index. So again, simple error message, nothing crazy, right? So this will be an error if you do. Okay. So now, of course, again, <laughs> uh, we can do this, right? Uh, again, it's pretty fast. Again, <laughs> uh, not not that really. It's already two milliseconds, maybe slightly slower. Okay. Let's take one more index again, but let's try to see if unique, right? Um, all right. So let's try it again. Uh, let's try to do uh, add more. See if I'm curious what will happen. Um, if you do, let's add trap, uh, create index, right? Where's my index? Where's my index? Uh, where's my index? Create unique index, right? Create unique index. No, create index on um, um, uh, create. Well, let's first find out if we have any names, similar names. Let's try this, right? Um, we can group by, right? And um, so let's do this. So select all from tracks, right? Uh, group by, group by name, right? And of course, uh, we want basically name and count track ID, for example, track ID, right? Track ID, okay by name okay order by order by uh, count counts right and right and order by counts order or order by counts descending so let's see if we have actually have any duplicates okay five two minutes by midnight oh there's five of them the trooper i wonder what's interesting sanctuary uh, midnight again, snow blind. So there's quite a few names, <laughs> Black Dog, Black Sabbath. I uh, wonder what's happening here. Why is Believe, of course, also is a fam familiar run. But so the first, uh, let's see, let's see if we have any duplicate uh, track names. Dupl duplicate track names, track names. And um, actually, we do have them. In fact, do have them. Okay, but so that means. That means it should, the index should not work, but let's try it. Again, let's try it. Uh, the unique index should not work. For names, right? Uh, so create unique, create unique, right? Index, uh, IDX, tracks name, right? Tracks name, on, of course, on tracks uh, name, right? And this should be a failure, but let's see, maybe it works. Yes. Abort due to constant violation. Unique constraint fail. Tracks name. Okay, so this doesn't work. So thus, thus, uh, 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 unique index will not work on on column which has uh, which has duplicates. Right? That just makes sense, right? So of course, so there is the solution is so you use just a regular index. So yeah, I think it will be well. Let's think it's it will be slightly slower, but this is so you we so we use. So we use, so we would create a regular index, right? So this would be, so this should work, right? Okay, and it works. Okay, all right, let's check again. Uh, uh, explain, explain our query plan again. Right. Okay, and again, it, now it's working again. Okay, so now optimization is back in. So that's already, so again, if you have a query, if you have multiple queries where you or sub queries where you are need to check some columns values, then it is really it's I don't I can't think of place where it would hurt. It, I mean, of course, besides the cost of take, taking the index, right? The initial cost of time. But again, you pay this cost first, and then, well, uh, again, it it will work. Again, the only downside again it might be if you create unique index, then you might again so unique will only work if you have your columns with uh, unique names, right? <laughs> de facto, primary, de fa it could function as a key. But again, it's possible you have also indexing with duplicates, and then you use just a regular index, create index without unique constraint. Okay, but, um, right, uh, there is another, there is more powerful indexing. Again, this is already a great start. We might want to have uh, expression-based, right? So. Uh, do we have a, so uh, we might uh, we might uh, want to create an index based on expressions uh, 
uh, in in some table columns, right? So this might be again so harder cases, right? Advanced indexing, you might want to have a crate of index for columns. First, let me see where is this help, right? So this is this is all of this is uh, in from where is it um, index essential guide, right? Essential guide. Right, and also the official documentation, but this is of course extremely dry, right? This tells you exactly what you can do. It doesn't tell you why, right? It just tells you, well, it tells you a little bit technical details, but really uh, <laughs> does not uh, tell you official, right? Uh, uh, right, so more, more detailed, more detailed, right? Okay, official, right? Official, okay. Right, so we learn how to create a uh, create index and drop index, right? But now let's see about expression-based indexes, right? So um, uh, let's see. Do we have a customers? Let's select all from customers. Let's see. Select all from customers. Do we have one? Oh, we do. Okay, great. Uh, do they? Oh, they have companies also. JetBrains, right? By the Intel J raised their prices yesterday. Starting October 1st, right? If you buying the commercial one, so you have till October 1st uh, to buy the the Intel J professional version for a little bit money for saving 30 euros. But okay, uh, so yeah, so company. So the example is this. Uh, we'll use it. Um, uh, company. So let's say select customer ID. And select. Uh, we'll be using um, SQLite index expression. SQLite index expression. Uh, yeah, something like this. Yeah. Oh no, that's that's official documentation. That's fine. Of course, that is a fine. But I want the tutorial, right? Yes, to improve, right? So this one here, we'll use this one, right? We'll use this one somewhere, right? No. Right. Okay. Now we will do something like this. Select customer ID. Mm. And we'll do get a company, right? We have company, company, and from customers, of course, right? From customers, right? See, okay, doesn't really matter. And now uh, we want to get the length of company, right? This is length, right? So where length, length, company, right? Uh, uh, more than 10, right? Kind of silly, right? An order by length company, right? Order by, order by, by, blank. Uh, I would say actually, I would use this function, uh, company descending, right? So <laughs> let's see what happens. Uh, oh yeah, we have Microsoft, we have Bank of Brazil, Woodstock, Discos, uh, Google Incorporate. So we have some companies here, right? So the thing is, of course, this is a, this is an expression, right? This actually takes some time to do, right? So we could, of course, explain our query plan. Let's do explain it. Let's explain it. So what happens here? Right, we are now smart. We know how to explain. On, uh, let's see. It will tell you. Right, scan table. Use temporary bridge tree for order by. So it's interesting. It tells you actually a couple things. It does right. So uh, it scans. So sorry. Yeah. So uh, it scans on, uh, on then it, uh, uh, then it, uh, uh, then it actually. Uh, it scans the table and then also use the order by. So also it might improve. This also might be uh, used, uh, might help. But here, of course, you can see the order by actually using a B3. Well, that implies there's some optimization going on in ordering, right? So something, but again, but the more main thing is this is scan table, right? So he has to scan, right? So this part here, again, so how would we do this? We will need to, right? Right, we explain, right? Uh, well, right, so we need to create an index. But it has to be expression based. So we want to create an index. So we want to create an index. Uh, so we want to create an index uh, based on uh, expression um, uh, length, you know, length company, right? right? Of course, like I would do uppercase here. I'm usually here. You know, yeah. So on the yeah. Um, so now, how to do? Basically, it's very similar syntax to what we learned earlier today. So we'll do create, create index, right? And we'll call it the index uh, uh, custom, 
you know custom length something like that customer uh, I don't know custom cust cust uh, customer length right <laughs> and maybe call the on some company yeah company right from from customers customer length right customer length <laughs> company length actually company length uh, company length right um, customers right something like this right the name is kind of long but it's, it may you want to describe what you're doing uh, index or maybe even better length index length uh, company customers that's even better I think that's better okay create index and not unique of course on because we might have multiple uh, matches right on customers so customers right on we'll do the function right length that's a function of course right on company on let's see now let's see now uh, one more parenthesis here yes it worked okay we can of course do this uh, query plan now let's see what happens did we have any improvement yes look, look at this there's only one query on that's much better using index you see that's nice so uh, uh quite so basically what happens it does these length these are pre-calculated right underneath what's going on the the, the database uh database will calculate this by saying you're basically giving instructions to database okay pre-calculate this and store this as an index these lengths right and then you can use them uh, for quick lookup right we will have a quick key we'll have these keys right on to look up right we'll save up quite quite a bit of time right so it will be now if you run this again again speed wise we won't probably see much difference because again it's as long as the databases are small the tables are small but let's try this right yeah and it is much much i think it is quicker actually right i think it is quicker um let's see if i drop it uh, drop table uh, where's my drop table uh, drop index right i'll do this uh, drop index if it exists right um since i'm lazy drop index if it exists idx how do we call it idx yeah that's the name idx length i don't want i'm tired of typing all of this so and i'll drop it yeah drop and now let's try this again uh, still pretty fast, right? Too, but it's a little bit, little bit slower. Maybe a little bit tiny slower, slower. Okay, right. And let's see again. I'll create again index. Right. On. Yeah, create index. And this, this. It looks like it looks like very similar, right? I mean, again, it's my, it's one minute a second. It doesn't really mean much, but it is a little bit faster, I think. Well, hard to say. Again, it's, it's it's they're all it's because it's really tiny anyways. They're not they're not too many customers, right? So the error of my I mean for a hundred we have I think how many customers we had maybe a couple hundred, right? So it's very quick anyways. But um, but the lookup is very 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 fast. So one thing is um, uh, one last thing before we go is that for this expression based syntax uh, there is a requirement uh, it has to be exactly the same expression based index will work only if the expression is exactly is exactly the same so the example is something like this we create 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 index as a edx invoice uh, line amount something like that that's from example on on invoice item right we have invoice items i believe we have let's see where we have invoice items yeah we have invoice items right uh, we want to get some uh, maybe index uh, quantity unit price something like that right so on invoice items right uh, if you do this unit price right times quantity right and semicolon right create index yeah it worked okay now uh, let's explain this query right so explain query plan and we'll do something like this select um, invoice line id I'll, 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 I'll select all from from invoice items since i'm, I'm lazy that's a, so i'll do this now so it remembers so i'll call it invoice line id yep that's the one um, again i don't know what uh, invoice id yeah okay here you go and we want to unit price times um, quantity 
right okay again the uppercase uh, uh, right so uh, right but the thing is okay here right if you do where uh, quantity times unit price right equals let's say you know 23 right okay something like this right so any number right or 9000 over 9000 right okay <laughs> right so silly example right so um let's do this right it's scan so so you need to match so now so uh, without exact match order match in uh, where or order by uh, by the index will not will not will not apply will not it will not, will not basically will not apply so what we do let's try this reverse right let's try this reverse and see if you can continue explain query plan if i do it reverse so unit pr price so uh, times quantity right that's better right this should work yeah you see search table invoice right search let's do this a little bigger using index you see now it works now uh, in uh, with uh, columns uh, column expression in correct order order the index will work right okay so that's the last thing so if you do this more complex uh, indexing so you can do index on things actually i can you can so it's you have to think ahead of time what kind of queries you'll want again for a single query obviously um, it, it doesn't really if you're only doing one query well uh just one one time you won't really save any time right but if you're doing multiple queries or you have sub queries involved it really makes sense to optimize these kind of uh, lookups right so this is actually going to be all optimized now right again of course uh, optimize indexing and optimization it's a huge topic right and you can spend 10 years on it of course uh, you can be a database uh, uh, real real expert uh, and still spend time on it but this should give you a very good uh, running start if you need if you have more if you're working with bigger data sets and you need to optimize your queries this will really help you out all right thank you and we'll think of some simple exercises next